Love you. Love you. Can you see our kids? They're so cute. Claire Bear. Hi, Emmy. Are you guys ready for mommy and daddy's happy day? They say love can build bridges and climb mountains, and they're right. You will find that it is it grows and matures over time. Your love for one another will prove both fulfilling and empowering. Together, we are gathered here to witness a truly special ceremony, the union of Greg and Aaron. While marriage is sacred and a serious tradition, it is also a cause for tremendous joy. Married life is full of surprises, adventures, and memory making, all made possible by the enduring power of love. When Greg and Aaron finalize this union, they will begin a new life of partnership, one defined by shared hopes, dreams, and successes. Today we observe the union of Greg and Aaron in matrimony. A commitment they have chosen to undertake with all the sincerity that it warrants. Remember also to adhere to the vows that you will make today. Seek strength from each other, give hope to each other, and let your trials help you grow together. They say love can build bridges and climb mountains, and they're right. You will find that it is it grows and matures over time. Your love for one another will prove both fulfilling and empowering. Aaron, today I take you to be my wife. As we join our lives together, I vow to be supportive, caring, and honest with you as always. I promise to hold you close, to respect you fully, and to love you deeply as your companion, your partner, and your best friend. I promise to stay by your side through thick and thin. I love you with all my heart, and I plan to remind you of that every day from this day forward. Greg, today I take you to be my husband. As we join our lives together, I vow to be supportive, caring, and honest with you always. I promise to cherish you daily to respect you fully and to love you deeply. As your companion, your partner, and your best friend, I promise to stay by your side through thick and thin. And I love you with all my heart, and I re will remind you of that every day from this day forward. Greg, do you take Erin to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward? To have and to hold, <laughs> in good times and bad, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, Will you love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? Aaron, do you take Greg to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward? To have, to hold, in good times and bad, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, will you love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the sight of these witnesses and myself, I am so happy to pronounce you by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of California. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Husband and wife, Greg, you may kiss your bride. There could have been no two hearts so open, no tastes so similar, no feelings so in unison. When I read this quote, it reminded me of the love between Aaron and Greg. I'm so happy for you both today, 
and want you to know that Jonathan and I are always here for you, and we love you. Seeing our daughter today so happy and truly radiant is a truly amazing experience, but it also hurts me because I see it's the moment that Aaron, you have truly grown up. Greg, you become our second son and we can never be prouder of the man Aaron chose to stand here today by her side and to watch our granddaughters be raised by loving parents. We can tell jokes, we can praise your accomplishments together, winning beer first in class awards, 300 bowling score. But the truth is, handing our daughter to you is the best in class we could ask for. Very early on, you went your own way. You've had a, a successful career. You've been shrewd in your investments. You met a wonderful woman. You've been a great father, and now we know that you're gonna be a great husband. I just wanna say it's a real pleasure and honor to be here tonight to help celebrate with you. So thank you so much for doing this and for having us. It's wonderful. I get to use this thing. It's been nine years. Aaron, you're an extraordinary person. You f love to feed those you love. You celebrate them fiercely. And you have so much joy to your children. And I know that they think you're the most amazing mother because I see it even when they drive you nuts and jump on the couch. Greg, you got lucky finding Aaron, but she's also lucky. Your love and support of her and your girls is the most beautiful thing. I know without a doubt you would give her the world, and I am grateful today that we fully give her to you. She's now your responsibility. No givebacks. I have enjoyed watching you become a mom and dad, and have even and even more excited to see you become man and wife. I'm happy to welcome Greg to the family, and with that, I wish you two have the time of your lives and all the happiness there could be, there possibly could be.